Thank you very much. Uh, we're not giving you a home. Oh? It's just for the night. Oh. You see, when a young person comes to this country, I'm afraid they don't just move in with the first people they meet. No? You need a proper guardian. What's that? It's a grown-up who takes you into their home and looks after you. Like you? Um... Yes, well, I suppose so. But not you. No, we don't do that. It's normally someone you know. But what if you don't know anybody? Well, in that case, the authorities will house you in some kind of government facility. What? Like an orphanage? No, 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 not an orphanage. It would be more like an institution for young souls whose parents have, sadly, passed on. Oh. Well, what about the explorer? Who? The man who visited us in darkest Peru. He said we'd always be welcome. Well, what's his name? You could go now. Ooh, well, I don't know his human name. Well, my uncle and aunt hadn't learnt much English back then, so they always called him. There can't be that many explorers who've been to Peru. Maybe we can find him. Without a name, I wouldn't get your hopes up. Oh. Right, come on, you. Pyjamas. Um, uh, Jonathan! Um, walk! <sighs> Don't worry, Paddington. We'll find him. Oh, thank you. Let's look in the encyclopedia. Unless, of course, you'd like to freshen up first. I beg your pardon? Oh, you know, use the facilities. Most people do after a long journey. Oh. Well, if that's what most people do, then I'd like to do that. Top of the stairs. Top of the... Ah, stairs. Um, <clears throat> OK. Oh, going that way. <clears throat> Got it. You all right? All good. He's all right. Oh. 